Hey guys, this is Milo with RMS Customs and Fab. Today I wanted to go over a product with you guys. Uh, basically, this is our wheel uh, tire and, uh, and a wheel finder uh, uh, tool. So what I wanted to go over with you is uh, about this product. This, uh, this is a product that we're going to be offering um, through the business. Um, sometimes, you know, you have a vehicle that you're looking to, to you know, add some wheels, add a tire, and uh, trying to see what size of tire you can actually fit in there. Um, and then from there, obviously, you know, look to see what also what, what's the biggest wheel that you can actually fit in there as well on the vehicle. Um, this is a great tool for vehicles that are already painted, um, that are basically they're already assembled, and, and you're just looking just to upgrade your wheels or your and your tire package, you know. Um, but this is also a tool that if you're looking to um, when you're you know building a vehicle and you want to. Um, uh, you know, looking for some tires, tire options, and, and, and see what's the biggest tire you can put on there. Um, and then also, too, that will also give you a diameter of, as far as on your, uh, uh, the wheel, you know, the wheel width and the back spacing on it. So, um, a lot of people are already familiar with this other tool. Um, basically, this is, uh, um, this hub adapter, basically, it's, you know, for, to grab the wheel, this tool gives you your, uh, your back spacing. So, our tool is it's similar to this as far as giving you a backspacing measurement, but it does not hold the tire, obviously, because this tire is already in place. We already know what ties the tire that we're going to be running. So since we're building this car, we're we're working around that tire. But in some cases, you know, there's people out there um, that that are not able to do that. So with this tool right here, what this does is this actually. If you're looking for a tire, basically what we do is uh, this tool lets you gives you your width on the tire, and uh, and what that is, you just measure in and in, and that would that will give you your width on your tire, and then at the same time from the hub space from here down facing um, and then measuring from the hub um, to the face, your that will give you your back space. Um, so that's actually it does two things at once, which is pretty cool. So, and what's cool about this is that this tool is actually, once you're looking to see what size of tire you're running or what you can run on your suspension, um, front or back, um, but what's cool about this tool is that when you set this up on the front suspension um, and you're looking to see what's the biggest tire, so this tool, you can actually spin it and this will let you, this will give you, just, uh, or actually, I'm sorry, this will let you see the clearance that you have um, on before you hit the inner wheel well, your turn radius, um, um, hitting the, you know obviously hitting the, the lip on the outer fender. So um, what I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna do a little demonstration on you as, uh, for you, so that way you guys can see as far as uh, uh, um, how it's set up. What's cool about this tool is that there's there's numbers on this on the tool on the tooling itself. So it goes from 24 to 30 inches. Um, so depending on your what you know your your wheel size, where you're gonna be running 24, 25 inch, 26, you know um, um, tall wheels, you know tall tires. Um, this this is uh, uh, this is all adjustable. You just loosen up uh, these Allen Allen screws, then you can adjust it from you know up and down, and then uh, um, everything's all numbered. So um, that way you can set it up uh, um, and get the correct measurement on what you're looking for. Okay, so for this example on the on our tooling. We're going to be using uh, uh, the Commando Camaro for a demonstration as far as uh, uh, how we use it and, and how we can find our, our tire width and our wheel width, um, back spacing, so, and width as well. So basically the way how we set this up is, and we, just, basically you want to have the, everything that you're going to have on the hub, so in this case, you know, obviously we would have a quarter inch spacer because of the, the hat on the rotor. Um, but this is just a de demonstration as far as just to show you so that way you guys can see how it's set up. So basically you just set it up on your hub. And we have this, the tooling we have is set at 24 and a half um, on, the, on the tire size. Um, so the way how we set this tool, this tool up is basically you got your width. Uh, so depending on the, the, the width that you're looking to run, which is a, either a two, uh, 275 or a 315 millimeters. So you just basically set this up on the width of the tire that you're thinking of what you're, run, you're wanting to run on the, on the vehicle itself. 
And then uh, um, once you, once you got that uh, um, all figured out, just set this up, and then you can you can spin this tool, and then you can see if where your 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 wheel clearance is. And then the benefit about this tool also is that so once you do a turn radius, this this is also gonna show you if it's hitting on there. So like in this point, you know we're we're pretty close to the to the subframe, so we know we know at that point you know we can either you know push it in and see see how far we can go and then at that point we know it's like okay that's we already stopped on that so we know we either are gonna go you know you want you want to give yourself at least I, to be on the safe side you know half inch to you know half inch clearance on it so that way you're gonna have you know obviously uh, sidewall movement on the on the wheel itself so and then once you got that set up then at the same time you can you know you can you can rotate the tire, see where your, your clearance is. You know you have enough clearance from here. You can rotate it, and then, and at that point, you already know it's like, okay, well, you know, it looks, everything looks pretty good. Rotate it back. Everything looks pretty good over here. And again, you actually want to have the inner fender well um, on the vehicle on and stuff like that so you can actually get the true measurements as far as making sure that you know you're gonna have the proper clearance um, on the tires itself so so with that we just basically you just measure from you know point A to point B that will give you your width and then if you're also looking to see what your um, uh, what type of backspace that you want to run on the vehicle, you can just measure from here to the face, and that will give you a backspace on on the wheel itself too. And then, uh, um, and also too, this would also give you if you measure from here to here, that's going to give you your wheel um, width and then your backspace. So it's pretty cool. This this tool does two things. Um, what typically on the other tool that we showed you on the video, it just shows holds the tire, and then. Uh, um, it doesn't really uh, 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 give you the, um, the diameter of the tire or of a tire that you're looking to see what type, size of wheel that or tire that you want to run on your vehicle. Um, so with this tool, we are accepting deposits. Uh, it, uh, we do have some, um, some tools that are going to be made. As far as uh, turnaround time on the tools, we're probably estimating between two to three weeks, um, give or take. So if you're interested in this tool, uh, shoot us a... Uh, uh, shoot us an email at restomodshopcustoms at gmail.com and you could also send us a, a DM on, on Instagram and Facebook and uh, also you could uh, uh, give us a call um, look us up through Google at RMS Customs and Fab in uh, Cibolo, Texas and uh, um, and then uh, yeah you can actually uh, uh, shoot us a, a message through there or you can also um, give us a call so look forward to be hearing from you. Thank you.